I'm visiting McDougall and Sons Orchards in Wenatchee where their apples are beginning to take bloom. No apples yet though. No, we're just at about 30% uh, bloom right now. It's a cool day right now. We don't really have any bees out flying. Uh, bees would prefer probably 60 degrees plus and no wind. Are you the McDougal or are you one of the sons? Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm a fourth generation farmer. Wow. So my great grandfather planted pear trees actually in the Wenatchee Valley uh, in the late 1800s. Wow. And uh, actually now my nephew's back working with us. So he represents the fifth generation. So you're in the, like the pollinating stage. Exactly. Okay, so tell me how that happened. So this variety is Gala. Uh, actually, these blossoms just opened the last couple of days. Uh, we've had very warm weather. If you would have been here four days ago, everything would have been very tight, Close probably that. tighter than uh -huh. this. Uh, we brought the bees in three nights ago, so they've already been, been working. Uh, the bees will come in and take pollen off the flower. Uh, actually, the anther part uh, of the flower, it's called the stamen, but the anther's apart. And then uh, that bee will take that pollen with a pollenizer. We have to have pollenizers to cross pollen, but it'll fly onto a flower and deposit the pollen right on top of what we call the uh, stigma uh, portion. And then that pollen will germinate, creates a pollen tube which goes down into the ovary part of the flower. And once that touches the ovaries, uh, that's when the fertilization occurs. Going back to my biology classes from high school right now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes, uh, we need happy bees. Yep. So these are uh, trees that are a little bit younger and you don't want some of the, the flowers up top, is that right? Exactly, but we don't really want any apples up here because more, the more fruit we have on the top, uh, the less vigor we'll have. We'd normally come in here with clippers so we can mm. just make one clip. Yeah. Otherwise, Instead it's... Of, that'd be kind of tedious, it's wouldn't it? It's a very laborious <laughs> yeah. process. Yeah. This particular block, we're in transition. Next year, uh, 2018, these will be fully certified uh, organic. So that's one of the reasons why you still see uh, the weeds. Mm -hmm. We've come through here with a tiller on both sides. We just can't really get these metal weeds out of here. So we actually will come back in with a hoe and get that, try to keep that as clean as we can. Uh, that way we're really not robbing any nutrients that the weeds would take up because we're really wanting the tree to uh, take up all, all the nutrients. I'm a good weeder. 